Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today is the start for a new reading vlog. I haven't done a reading vlog in a while and I have nothing planned for this weekend. So I'm planning on reading a bunch because I have four books that like I have to get to by the end of March. So I'm praying that I can read those books this weekend. It is actually already Friday the, the 22nd and it's already 8.25 at night. I didn't have a chance to film at all during the day because I was working from 9.30 to 5.30. I ran some errands before I came back home and then I cooked myself some dinner. I have the house to myself right now, except for the pets around me. There's one back there. <laughs> Cause my sister has a softball game tonight. So everyone's going there. I am way too tired to go. I already have finished one book today and I have made progress on another one. For the past, I wanna say a couple days, I've been making my way through Transcendence by Shay Savage, I believe. I finished that one today on ebook and I am also reading two other books at the moment. So I'll talk about that in a minute, but I finished this book already today. Started it a couple days ago. It's basically a romance book where our main character is a caveman, essentially. It's all from his point of view and you don't really get to see the point of view of the woman he falls for, but you can infer that this woman is from our time and gets sucked into his world and they end up falling in love and it's their story together. And I really enjoyed this one. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. The only problem was there were some points that were kind of slow for me and at the end it was a little bit rushed. I think that could have had some work on it but other than that I really enjoyed it and totally recommend it if you're up for a caveman romance book. So right after I finished that book I immediately purchased the novella slash second book to it. It's called Loves <laughs> by Say Savage. This is transcendence all in the point of view of the woman of the couple. So you get her thoughts because you never had them during transcendence. And so I'm really excited to get into that. I don't know if I'll have time to get into that this weekend because I have four books that I really have to read. If y'all didn't know, I actually have come into a routine now where I am reading three books at once. I know that's probably not the healthiest and best I've also found out that I can't read all the same genre of those three books. Like I cannot read three romance books at once, like contemporary romance books, I could not. If one was maybe like a fantasy romance book and a contemporary romance book, I'd be cool with that, but I cannot read all three contemporary romance books or even two. I get very confused and I think something happened in that book when it happened in the other one. So I have to find three different genres every time I finish another book. I am always reading an ebook. I'm always reading a physical book and I'm always listening to an audiobook. The physical book I'm reading, I cannot download the audiobook and like switch between the audiobook and the physical book for the same book. Like it, it messes with my brain and I can't do that. <laughs> need to have audiobooks in my life because I drive a lot for work. I love to read so I need that audiobook in my life. Obviously I need a physical book in my life. I need to physically read. <laughs> okay, sorry. I got interrupted. My family came home from the softball game so I'm now in my room, which needs to be cleaned. That's going to be another task for me to do this weekend. It needs some heavy cleaning. As I was saying, I read three books at once. Audiobook, because I commute to work. Physical book, because I need a physical book in my life. And I have to read an ebook because that's where I get my reading for right before I go to sleep. I have come to the realization that I am too tired and honestly too lazy to read with the lights on like right before I go to bed. I am perfectly happy with the reading on my phone 30 minutes before I fall asleep. I want all the lights out. I just want my phone to be on and reading stuff. So right now my current commute listen is Beneath These Lies by Megan March. This is the fifth book in the Beneath series by her. I know I talked about in my February wrap up how her books were kind of mediocre, the ones that I read. I will say I think this series in particular is getting better. I am around halfway through that. Um, I think, I believe it's an eight hour audiobook. I have four hours left, I want to say. This series, if you didn't know, takes place in New Orleans. All these books are kind of connected because each character is introduced in a previous book. They're like companion books. Every single book has this thing where the main character woman in the couple is like the target for murder or like someone's out to get her. And so it's always about the alpha male protecting her, 
them realizing their feelings for each other. So basically every book in the Beneath series follows that plot but this one is a little bit different because in previous books you get the point of view from each person in the couple and you know who the love interest is gonna be but in this book we have two guys <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen so I'm actually really intrigued about this one I normally don't like love triangles I'm actually really enjoying this one but I think mainly it's because she's <laughs> more into one of the guys and I like the other guy more even though he's not a good guy. I know that sounds kind of confusing. Anyway, that's the audiobook that I am listening to. I have not started the ebook yet. Loves is my ebook that I downloaded and I am going to start reading hopefully soon. But right now my physical read, A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmer. I'm on page 278. I want to say a little bit over halfway. And I've been taking notes. I don't know if I'm gonna film a review or not. We will see. I have mixed feelings so far. <laughs> I will talk about more about this in the review or the wrap up that I plan to do for it. I have been reading this book for over two weeks and that never ever ever happens for me. I normally fly through a book. I never read a book for this long ever. It might just be because I'm having a really bad relationship with young adult fantasy at the moment. This is a young adult fantasy book and it's just taking me so long and I think I get bored to be honest nothing against the book I'm actually kind of really enjoying it I don't know why but I cannot read over like 40 pages of this book like I have to like put it down and what happens is I don't know how I don't know why but every time I read a chunk of this book a couple pages of this book I set it down to like check my phone or something and I end up falling asleep this has happened over six times it's not even nighttime when I read this book I read my ebook at nighttime when it's dark out I'm reading on the couch with this book and I have fallen asleep. I don't know if I'm just bored or like what's going on. Like I want to know what happens in this book. But like I don't know I'm having mixed mi mixed feelings right now. Because this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I love Beauty and the Beast retellings. But like it's going really slow to me. Like the first 200 pages only like two days passed. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to feel about for the rest of the book. Um, We will see. I plan on reading this right now. I just want to get this book done with so I can get to the rest of my TBR for the weekend. So it is March 22nd right now and I recently went to my local library, finally got a library card. Two of these books I got four. Two of them are due on the 28th. That is in six days. One of those books is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Sorry I'm covering up my library's name. I don't really want people to know where my library is. <laughs> this is a Colleen Hoover book that I have not read yet and I love Colleen Hoover so much and I've been planning to read this one. It's fairly short. This is new in her collection of works because this couple is already married at the start of the book and I haven't read a book like that from her before so I'm interested to see this. I think they go through like some struggles. I don't really know that much about it. I love to go into Colleen Hoover books blind so we'll see what happens with this one. The next book that is also due at the library in six days is The Prince and The Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, but this is a graphic novel about a prince who likes to wear dresses. I think him falling in love with the dressmaker. I think that's what it's about. I've heard nothing but great things. I heard it's so, so cute. So I really want to read this soon because I just need like a pick me up for my little heart. <laughs> and the last book that I really hope to get to by the end of the weekend, which is a really big stretch because this book is big too. So many books I want to read. I am planning on participating in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone read along, read a thon. <laughs> it's the uh, three month read along hosted by like Kaz from Little Book Owl and a few other booktubers. Their names are escaping me at the moment, but they're planning on doing a read along for the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. I've already read the first book, but I hadn't continued on with the series. And I've always regretted it because I really loved this book so I really want to continue with the series but I don't remember anything that happens in the first book so I'm going to have to reread this and hopefully since I've already read it I can fly through this yeah it's 416 pages ah it's so long I'm planning on hopefully reading only physical books and occasionally my ebook before I go to bed I'm going to get started in Hopefully, I just I just want to finish this goddamn book. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Saturday. I am here outside with my two of the three of my puppies. Say hi. But I read around 100 pages last night of, oh. You really asked me to throw the ball. Come here. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> um. Anyways, I read around 100 pages last night of A Curse So Dark and Lonely. 
keep interrupting me. I have this much left. I read a little bit at breakfast today and I really hope that I can just get this done. It's getting way more interesting, I will say, as the story goes along. I finally got sucked in, but that was like after 250 pages, which is kind of ridiculous. So we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna keep on reading and hopefully I can finish this in less than a couple hours. Hey y'all, it's a little later, a couple hours later, and I finally finished A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimura. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did compared to like how I was feeling at the beginning of the book. I think I might give it a four or a 4.5 out of five stars. I can't give it that five stars just because of how slow it was was at the beginning. I don't really have all my thoughts in order. I took notes while reading the book, but I will either talk about it more in a wrap-up that I do or if I plan to do a review for this book because I might do that. I don't know yet, but this book took me over two weeks and I found myself like flying through the rest of the book, which was great. I really enjoyed the rest of the book. The last 200 pages I really, really loved. I didn't know it was going to be a series at all. That epilogue <laughs> basically in first it's gonna be a series so I'm actually really looking forward to the next book I'm gonna keep my eye out for it I'm going to read it I'm gonna continue on with the series so I can't wait I wonder what's gonna happen the next one I was kind of there was like a little plot twist and I kind of like expected it to go that way if that makes sense I don't know if you've read this book you maybe understand I don't know there was like a little bit of a plot twist in there and once it was mentioned I basically saw it coming <laughs> but yeah I really enjoyed this and I'm gonna pick up the next book I'm gonna read. I really want to pick up Next The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I have heard nothing but good things about this graphic novel and I feel like I'm gonna fly through it and hopefully I can get a second book done for the day. But first before that I really need to clean my room. It's messy. <laughs> so I need to do that. I might watch some booktube while I do that. I might listen to my audiobook, the Megan March book I'm listening to. So we will see what I do. But yeah, I really need to spring clean this room.
Okay, sorry, my camera cut off because I have too many videos on my phone. So I am in the process of transferring them to my laptop. And while that happens, I'm going to be reading this one. I already started it. I think I'm on page, I think, 20. And while that happens, I have little Ollie taking a nap on my lap. I have some great company. It's a couple hours later. I don't know what time it is. It's not dark out yet, so that's a good sign. And I've just finished The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I loved this so much. Oh my gosh, it was so cute and beautiful to read about. I, I loved it. I loved it. I think this is five stars for sure. I totally recommend if you're into graphic novels. This was so cute. I need my own copy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna pick up next. I'm either going to pick up Daughter Smoke and Bone for the reread for the Daughter Smoke and Bone read along, or my other library book that's due on the 28th is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. But I don't really wanna read either of those right now. But there's also another book I bought that I wanna read that's a romance book that looks so good. I don't know what to pick out. Okay. I still don't know which one. I don't know if I want to read this right now. But then I don't really want to read All Your Perfects right now, do I? I kind of want to read this other book. But like, I need to have this read by the end of the month. And it's, what, the 22nd? And then I need to read this book by the 28th. Okay, I think I've decided I'm not going to pick up All Your Perfects. Just because I collect Colleen Hoover books anyway. So... I'm going to end up buying it at some point. I know myself I'm gonna buy this book. I think I'll just save it until I buy it. I also have been on the wait list for it for the audiobook through the library for a while now and maybe that's the way to go. I don't think I've canceled it. I was on the waiting list for it before I got the physical copy so I think I'm good with that. I've already read this book but I don't really want to read it again right now. I didn't even explain what this book is about. Our main character, Karu, works with these half-human, half-animal creatures. But then she's like cut off from hanging out or being with them. They're basically her family. She's like cut off from them. They disappear when like mysterious black handprints appear on all the doorways to the land where she can like find her friends. The half-animals have human creatures i forget their name they have a specific name to them i forget their names right now yeah black handprints start appearing and turns out it's an angel like the tagline for it is like the devil falling in love with an angel i remember really loving it and i was really sucked in but like i don't have the energy for like a urban fantasy book right now or like a fantasy book right now i don't i just read a curse of dark and lonely and like i thought that would be urban fantasy there's some parts that are set in modern day most of it is set in a fantasy land i don't know i'm kind of drained I think I'm going to pick up the new romance book that I bought yesterday. <laughs> okay, so the new book, I bought two new books. Um, I bought a graphic novel, but this is the romance book that I bought. It is called The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. I am really looking forward to this. I'll read the back for y'all. It's been 12 years since tragedy struck the senior class of Long Acre High School. Only a few students survived that fateful night. A group the media dubbed the ones who got away. Liv Arias thought she'd never return to Long Acre until a documentary brings her and the other survivors back home. Suddenly her old flame, Finn Dorsey, is closer than ever and their attraction is still white hot. When a searing kiss reignites their passion, Liv realizes this rough around the edges cop might be exactly what she needs. This looks so good. I'm like so burnt out by that fantasy book because I've been in such a rut with fantasy, like new fantasy. Like the last book that I read that was a fantasy book that I absolutely loved was Bring Me Their Hearts, which I read but like months ago. I wanna say like October. Like I really wanna read this, but I also know that I'm not gonna get to this if I don't read this now. What do I do? Which one do I read? I also have an audible credit so I could get the audiobook for this. I think I might do that. Okay, so I have decided I'm just gonna get the audiobook for Daughter of Smoke and Bone because the wait list for the library for that is way too long and I don't have time for that. So I'm just going to use my Audible credit. I believe I have two. I haven't used Audible in a little while because I found Libby, the audiobook service through my library. So I'm going to do that. 
pulling that up on my computer. Okay, so I have decided my physical read is going to be The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. I'm really excited for this. I'm gonna love it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hi y'all, happy Sunday. It is later in the afternoon. I'm just getting around to filming because I woke up actually a few hours ago because I stayed up really late last night reading actually. I ended up getting 72 pages of the way through The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this romance book. I have no gripes about it so far, so really enjoying this one. Since I've woken up this morning, I've been doing some chores around the house and stuff like that, and I've been listening to Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I'm around page 50 or 60, I want to say. Only am around maybe like an hour and a half through the audiobook. I love this audiobook. I love this book. So I'm actually really happy that I'm rereading this because it's so good. Still have some more cleaning to do. I'm doing some laundry. I'm listening to the audiobook while I got ready this morning. I did a cute little three-way three-way three <laughs> braided braid because my hair was looking really bad this morning but other than that i got my two of my doggies here and then i got one little kitty back there if you can see him that's oreo but yeah and this is ollie if you didn't know ollie this is katniss she came to name katniss we didn't name her which is actually really funny we don't really call her katniss we call her kitty kiki cat she's cat the dog <laughs> they're very sleepy and they love to sleep on my bed, apparently. But I'm just gonna listen to my audiobook for now and help around the house. Hi, it is a way later in the day. I haven't physically read anything today. I've been listening to Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I am literally almost halfway through the audiobook. I am loving this audiobook. I didn't listen to the audiobook the first time I read it. I read it physically and I loved it the first time. I love it even more. <laughs> forgot how much I love this and I don't know why I didn't continue on with the rest of the series. Like I'm loving this book a lot. I don't even know if like I can wait the three months of reading this book because the Daughter of Smoke and Bone read-along is you read Daughter of Smoke and Bone in March, you read the second book in April, and you read the third book in May. I don't know if I can wait that long. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens, but I may just binge them all. I don't know. <laughs> but right now I have a bath going. I'm going to take a bath while listening to the audiobook because I'm really obsessed with it right now. And I had a long day of helping, working around the house. So I think I deserve a little relaxation in the bathtub. <laughs> next day it's Monday I am about to leave for work so I thought that I would wrap up this weekend reading vlog I want to first say sorry if this was a little boring I didn't really film anything I guess I don't know um let me know if y'all want to see more of these or if it's not really your thing or if it was boring to you I don't care what you say just let me know please so you know for the future so first i read a curse so dark and lonely by bridget kummer i finished it i think i read around 200 something 300 something pages i ended up finishing this on saturday because i got a really big chunk done on friday and yeah i really enjoyed this i'm still stuck between a 4 or 4.5 out of 5 stars so i'm gonna sit on it for a little while and you will know my concrete rating in my march wrap-up Okay, so next I listened a little bit on Friday to Beneath These Lies by Megan March. This is a romance book by Megan March. I've talked about her Beneath series quite often 
and there will be a lot of the Beneath books in my March wrap up. I listened to quite a lot this month. I will say this one is different from the rest of them because there's a love triangle in it and you get the perspective from two guys instead of one so you like don't know who she's gonna end up with. That, that's really interesting about this book. I normally hate love triangles especially in YA contemporary books they are the worst um my least favorite trope but this book is actually doing a love triangle really really well and so I listened to a little bit of that on Friday when I was coming to and from work I believe I'm halfway through that one on Saturday I picked up The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang I read it entirely on Saturday night and I loved this so much oh my god like I it's like my favorite graphic novel like I love it so I for sure gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Love it. Next, I read 72 pages of Ronnie Lauren's book, The Ones Who Got Away. This is a romance book about survivors of a school shooting. And these two main characters were together in high school secretly. And it's them like 12 years later after the horrible incident that happened at their school. And them like coming back together basically. And feeling old feelings were surfacing. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it, and I can't wait to read the rest of it. And lastly, <laughs> lastly, yesterday on Sunday, I finished Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I reread this for the Daughter of Smoke and Bone read along, going on on booktube right now. I reread it. I read it, I believe, last year, my freshman year of college. I remember reading this and I physically read it then and I loved it. I started the 12 hour audiobook, I want to say around 1 o'clock yesterday, and I finished it at like 1 30 in the morning because I could not stop. And I love this book so much. And I think I might just jump into the next books. I don't even think I can wait like the read along wait time. We'll see what happens. But I really love this story so much. Like, I love this book so much. Five out of five stars, of course. I feel like this series is so underhyped. Like, I know it's talked about on booktube, but not a lot of people actually read this series. And I just feel like more people should read this series because they would love it. This first book was amazing. I loved it so much and I can't wait to continue on with the rest of the books. So there you have it. I completed three books this weekend. I made progress on two, one audiobook and one physical book. I in total read five books, completed only three of them. I'm really proud of myself that I read the three out of the four books that I planned on reading. I still don't know if I'm gonna read All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover we'll see but anyways that is the end of my reading vlog thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all soon with a new video bye